discipline in chemistry, but it is very young. I think the theory of polynomials established until the 1920s. So it's, it's not even 100 years old. When look at his, the nigga. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> look at phys uh, physics. Uh, think about Aristotle or Archimedes, that's like in ancient Greece, so very old. Um, very old discipline. But this one is very young. But um, even though it's very young, it has been rapidly developed. Uh, it has been wi widely used in industry, in our daily life. I'll give you an example. I think everyone are very close, closely connected with polymer. I mean, um, if you look at the tag of your shirt, you might find polyester written on it. I mean, and the plastic bag you buy, you, you use in a supermarket, they are, they are, um, they are made of polymer. And um, I mean, look at the bottle of the water, you might find PP written on it. PP. Um, this is short for um, polypropylene. It is a kind of uh, polymer. Um, um, the polymer is a kind of material that has a very high molecular weight. So um, if you look at this poly right, and macro, I mean they stand for many, right? So this is uh, so this is polymer. It has have very high molecular weight. Um, we um, the the formula for polymer, polymer is like A, B, and M. This part, this is um, this is a basic unit in polymer. Polymer is, is built up with many small units. So this is a very basic one. And N stands for um, the amount of A, B unit in this polymer. So for example, I, we mentioned PE, right? We mentioned PE. Uh, this is polypropylene. And the um, formula for it is like this, CH2. And this is N, right? So CH2 is a basic unit in PE. For example, if the N equals 10, then we have, uh, then we have PE like CH2, 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 and da, da, da. And CH2. So it's a chain, it's basically a chain, a long chain, right? So um, uh, it's a basic long chain, but uh, because the, poly the molecular weight, the average mo molecular weight of polymer is very high, say 5,000. So it has many um, special properties that we do not find in small molecules. Right? Mm. I'll give you an example. For example, we have this kind of, we have, um, we have this cross link. Things and you go out with the things 
to go to the house, bags. Box, oh, yeah. Bags. Okay. My, my, my uncle works in uh, making that kind of. Oh. Uh, of so you're kind of familiar with it? Yeah. Okay. A little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. Okay. Um, speaking, of, speaking of this, uh, speaking of the sample, the polymer, we can, it has two categories. Um, one is a synthetic category, it's a synthetic polymer. It means we, we can think that uh, we can synthesize this in the uh, in factory or laboratory from some raw materials like um, like uh, this, this. We can have this raw, raw materials. It can be extracted from just as you said before, oil or fuel. We extract oil from the underground, and after many process, we get uh, we get these raw products, and it can be used to produce polymer. So is uh, so we can see that the raw material for polymer is is actually cheap. So this is another uh, advantage that polymer has. So it has it has wide use. Okay, and another category of polymer is. Um, Biological, biological, biological polymer. I mean, we human beings, we are actually a combination of uh, macromolecules or polymers. I mean, um, we have protein or DNA. They are all polymers. So this is another example of polymer. So I'm from a polymer. <laughs> Do you have polymer within your body? Let me make that polymer. Oh <laughs> my goodness, it's not. It's good to know that because I work in that. Uh, at this time, I have to work in that. In the DNA, um, actually in in, in virus, virus HIV. Oh. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Good, excellent. Nice.